Hello, people. This is Eric Cobra. Ron and Arja. And one on one. And Kevin here. And why is this? Is this guy leaning up against nothing? To me, he's, he's leaning, leaning up, up against, against the trailer. Yeah. Okay, because he's reversed in uh, in my, on, my, on my screen, so he's leaning up against nothing. Oh, he's it looks weird. He's leaning up against the trailer. the trailer and looking at the woman. Right. On my screen, he's doing it the exact opposite. He's looking away from the woman while leaning up against the air. <laughs> That's wrong. Any case, this is the secret world blind. Yeah, and his uh, his arm is stretched. It, it, it looks kind of ridiculous. So while we were waiting for Warlord to come in, we found Law. First of all, over here. Oh, you can see. Yeah. It's about the Draculesti. What else would it have been about in the middle of the camp? Designation Draculesti is a lip. Designation Draculesti is a living. Heredit heredit hereditary, hereditary hereditary hereditary. Thank you. Story passed on in meat body iterations. They transmit via the oral tradition, passing on the true history of Dracul Dracula and his fall. Each generation trains for a great war. They hone their hatred for all supernatural predators. Right, and the second piece of lore we found was over here. And thus we now see the benefits of running around like headless chickens while waiting for something to happen. I'm not clapping. It's about the Council of Venice. The, well, coun <laughs> the Council was a fine idea, with some altruism in the proportion. It even worked for a while. But lo, dear sweetling, your meat memories are short. In the mayfly blink of centuries, Armageddon fades away, corporation shrivels up, bureaucratic Alzheimer's sets in. Impotency is a foregone conclusion. Initiate the riddle, how can something be so mighty and so helpless? All those are opinions, all those agendas. The red tape forms a web that chokes all action. When a decision is actually made, it is respected, but those become more and more rare. Cue the farce and parody and slapstick show. The beating of gavels. The verbal sparing. Semantics devour truth. Well, that's, um... Sounds like politics, in a nutshell. Yeah. Yep. So, we came into the camp here the first time around. Right, and, um... The leader of the, uh, the Angolais, has a lock no, quest. No, the other way. Guys, right. I found a sound side quest. Right, as I was saying, the leader of the Draculesti has a locked quest, but un unlike what you'd imagine, that quest does not rely upon uh, finishing his first mission, I checked before we turn on the camera, it relies upon finishing four missions from four random quests gave us around the area. Well, maybe not random, but still. Hmm. Where am I going? Where's the Agatha portal? Uh, the Agatha portal? Yeah. That's where we were going. Oh, okay. it's that way. Don't ask me to follow a map, then I'm even more lost than elsewise. Right. Don't mean otherwise. Fair enough. Otherwise. Oh, hey, a side quest. You don't say, it's called a slab of meat. Yep. Huh. Hungry little, hungry like the wolves. Wolves are feeding on some strange looking meat. They don't seem hostile and their undivided attention is on their chewing. What kind of flesh can distract wild animals to this degree? Hmm. Follow the lone wolf. Examine the area. So yeah, follow that lone wolf apparently that Warlord is following right now. Yeah, now follow Now I can follow it. I had to examine the area. By just, you know, walking over to it. Hmm. Oh, great, the Demir farm. Just in case we have forgotten that existed. How could we? Well, as long as it does not lead us to a guy in a green cloak, I'm happy. Oh dear! Sneaky dog! Ah! 
Oh, I can use this. Do you mind holding on for a moment while I look at this thingy magic that I might be getting? Not at all. Just give me a second. Okay, shotgun. Let's have a look and see what this is then. And how good it is. New shotgun. Alright. And the report is utterly generic. No big surprise yeah, there. But it was some cheap ability points. Yeah, that's always good. Now. Damn, damn, Matt! Get off my farm! <laughs> Let's get off it before they realize we're back. <laughs> they don't seem hmm. to have fond of us after what we did. What in the hell are they going to do to us? Bark, bark, yeah. snore, snore, bark, Okay, bark, yeah, that would get annoying. And be generally creepy. Right. As and act like they're the good guys and we're the bad guys. We're gonna be creepy at you as punishment. <laughs> right, so we have these sighing forest spirits. Hello there, Anastasia. Um, no problem with any creepy guys named Rasputin, I suppose. Hopefully not. Right, okay. Hey, there's Lobo here. Then grab it. It's about Anastasia's wagon. Okay. Incongruity detected. Examine. On the opposite on the opposite side of the lake from the Romany camp is a clearing. In that clearing sits a classic water wagon. All around the forest breathes autumn breaths and shadows lengthen. Yet the caravan is surrounded by summer and soft music, warmth and blooming flowers. A bright coziness contrasted against the dark forest. Yeah, skip me a second. I will just have to do something. Oh, and here's a... And here's a what? Yeah. Well, the quest giver's over here. We'll deal with it once we talk to the quest giver. Hello? Hello? Ah, be right back. And connection issue resolved. Let's get Anastasia's quest. Let's ask her about. Yeah. Let's ask her about herself. Ready? Yeah. Ready. Three, two, one. Click. So you're telling me Alexander the Great left his three daughters here to rule the forests as singing warrior sisters? Huh? No, I didn't tell you that. Uh. The question isn't who I am, not anymore. It's who we are. The wagon and I. Uh, okay. Of the Van Tose. He belongs to the forest spirits, and he walks. Well, rolls, I suppose. Uh, the thing is breathing. Of knowledge, of history, oh, hey, yeah, the wagon is breathing. A four wheeled Wikipedia, edited by actual fairies. I didn't notice that. Everything the forest spirits ever knew is in That's why I go into detail, Cobra. Jesus, that's awesome. To be his conduit to the world. We complement each other. Even though we've only been together a few years, it's hard to imagine my life without him. I don't know how I was chosen or why. All I know is that I was drifting until I found him. And then everything just made sense. <laughs> He's my soulmate. It's a nice feeling. Well, the wagon is alive and it's very Wikipedia. And the soulmate of Anastasia. Yeah. This is gonna be one of those days, isn't it? Yeah. I think so. Let's ask her about the secret world. Ready? Yeah. Ready. Three, two, one, click. The forest is the secret world at its purest. Here are the walls between the known and the unknown, between myth and the mundane, between science and magic, are thin enough to see through. Mm. There's been a truce in place here. Between humans and the fairy for centuries. A symbiosis, an understanding of mutual respect. The Fae folk keep to the shadows of the forest, and in return, their human neighbors have given them what they need the most. Faith. They believe in them, mm -hmm. and they keep the myths and legends, the songs and stories, alive from generation to generation. And now, that balance. 
that truce is in danger of crumbling completely. Sucks. More than just sucks, if you ask me. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully we can help on this. Now let's ask about um, Fairy Wikipedia over there. Ready? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Ready. Three, three, two, one, click. The only uh, person I talk to regularly is my wagon. Well, to call him mine would be a gross exaggeration. He's his own man. Life as his partner can be a bit lonely at times. After all, a single woman living alone in the woods, engaged in conversations with a wagon. Let's just say it's been a while since I had a date. Well, if it helps, you ain't the weirdest person we run across. Mm. No. You should hear some of his stories. With everything I've seen, he still manages to surprise me. Right, let's see. Last dance of the... Hey, Papo. What does that A mean? I don't know. I, I think it's supposed to be short. Paduri. Paduri. Strange, even hostile creatures long lived undisturbed in the recesses of this ancient forest. Some have attempted to resist the war that has come to Bacchus country. Conti, sorry. While others have begun to kill indiscriminately. Those must be stopped. True. Yeah, I know. Right. Hmm. Ready to put a stop to some rampaging fairies, I guess? Yeah. yeah, okay. Right. Three, two, one, click. Right. Hello, ma'am? Who no. turned off the light? Oh. Goddess hm. Almighty! You're sorry, sorry. Death. Oh, shut up. You know I have good reason to be worried. With what's out there. The forest is a dangerous place for humans. It was one of the last refuges of the Fey folk. When the human world wanted no more of them, they came here to be left alone. But the vampires don't respect the truce between the fairies and the outside world, and it's caused no end of trouble. I can imagine. The weaker ones are hunted and killed by the vampire queen's footmen. The stronger ones? The stronger ones, they're the ones who concern me. Instead of simply striking back at the vampires, they're killing. Indiscriminately. The Fata Paduri. They are many, and they are mad. Mamu Paduri was always a bit mad, mind you. But she kept to her part of the forest. Now... Goddess, be kind! You can't just run off like that to fight her and her brood! Mm. It's their forest, and she's Trixie! Anna? So... Hey, that looks like the box that we found! The music attracts Manu Padari. It's her weakness, and it'll draw her out of her lair. Try to understand. She's like a wild animal that's been hurt. She's not accountable for her actions. That doesn't excuse it, but... But? Please try to understand what it is made her this way before you put a stop to her. All right. You know what? I really do not like the vampires right now. I understand. Oh. That's a Paduri. Is that a thing? Uh, is there something here not related to the secret world? Well, I have the music box, so uh, music of a sighing forest spirit. But I will wait for that because it sounds like you're doing some research right now, Cobra. Yeah. Well, I found something on Muma Paduri, which apparently means old woman of the forest. Mm. Ch shape changer, little house, kidnaps children. Oh. Delightful. Oh. Pretty basic. Yep. Apparently in one story, a girl and a boy comes to her house and um, see, uh, let's see. No wait, just a little girl. 
uh, comes to her house and Mama Padori tries to make her into soup, but the little girl's brother outsmarts Mama Padori, oh wait, there's a boy, and pushes her into an oven. Oh, hello there, Hansel and Gretel. Right, so we're... places today? 